inspirational leader, our visionary, our CEO, Eva Chen. Eva, welcome to the stage. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Trend Micro 2020 Perspective. This is Eva Chen, CEO of Trend Micro. I'm very happy to talk to you about enabling resilience with a threat defense platform. Trend Micro has been in cybersecurity business for 30 years, strictly focusing on threat defense. We witness all the infrastructure change from a standalone PC to local area network to internet and then to, to the cloud. Along the way, Trend Micro has been focusing on building the company to be a resilience company that can help our customer to be resilient. How do we invest and become a resilient company? We invest in good people. Our people is not just good at programming, not just passionate about technology, but really passionate, good about building a better world and focusing on customer success, not just acquiring new customer, but make sure that our customer can success. We work with all the cybersecurity partner because we believe our common enemy is the bad guys. And Trend Micro has building a very strong balance sheet. Trend Micro is a 1.5 billion revenue company worldwide with more than 7,000 employees. And this strong balance sheet helped Chair Micro to be investing in long term and helping our customer to be resilient. Because we know that your business is not security. We need to make sure that your resilience you can be prepared for, withstand, and rapidly recover from any attack, any threat, so that you can explore your company's business. So what are the big changes happening that is impacting cybersecurity and our customers? In the recent years, we see that multi-cloud migration and the new cloud native application has been coming a lot from our customers. And because of this movement to the cloud, users are becoming much more mobile and they are assessing all type of cloud application. And with 5G and smart network, smart factory, we're seeing that extended network is going into the operational technology where all of this expanded network will become very challenging for our customers' security. If you look at this whole impact, there's all type of risk and vulnerability across multiple environment, including in the cloud, you're using a lot of codes from third party uh, repository. You have the cloud misconfiguration or your user has a lot of, they bring their own devices and they are click happy and users. And your operation environment used to be, think people think that's a black box, it's very safe. But with the IoT is now exploring out and exposing to the IT world. And therefore, all of this risk and vulnerability causing the security operation center a big headache. It's very difficult to this to detect and respond to all type of threats. And the security operation center are overloaded with the alert and with so many different type of tools. And all of this data are locked into different silos. Before, the desktop, the user devices are managed by the IT operation people and therefore, they, they are in the IT data silo. The network data are managed by the network operation center, NOC, and they are stored in a different database. 
and not to mention now the new cloud operation, the cloud application, all this visibility and the new threats to the cloud infrastructure, these are all into the different silos. And this silo causing is very difficult for even when you have the same platform, you're just receiving a lot of alerts from different data and without any contextual information to link all these different event and alert together. Actually, if we look at how does an attack, a threat happen in all your network, there's much more to the story. It could be starting from an email, someone click it and land it on, on the desktop, and then it was connecting to the cloud, and therefore it spread and impact the cloud application. And through the cloud application, it gets vented into the operation environment where the ICS got impacted and your whole production line could be stopped and ransomed for the, for, for the whole week. If you cannot, if security operation center cannot see this whole story linked together, they cannot respond to these threats and contain these threats in a meaningful, fast response. That's why in the recent years, people, industry, starting to talk about XDR. Instead of just endpoint detection and response and network detection and response, XDR means that you need to have extensive detection and response across different layer, different protocol, and aggregate all of this information so that you can collaborate in seeing all of this alert in a meaningful way. And I think that's why a lot of people are talking about XDR. But I think no matter what the definition about XDR means. The most important thing for customer is the research shows that those who have invested most significantly in XDR-like or XDR approach, then they are experiencing 55% fewer attack, successful attack. They might still have attacked, but you can detect it, respond it in the right way, and therefore limit the damage. Trend Micro's XDR approach is a very extensive implementation in all layer in the enterprise infrastructure. Trend Micro has the endpoint security, server security, cloud security, email security, network security. We have the sensor in every of all these points, and therefore we can collect the meaningful telemetry and important information put together in one data lake so that we can provide our customer with the whole visibility and whole story when there's a threat attack happening. And all of this, not only we can provide the visibility, but Train Micro has been in the in the cybersecurity protection in all of this layer. So we have the optimized protection solution for cloud, for user protection, for network protection. Because when you talk about protection, in need to. It means that it sits between the data flow, the operation flow, and therefore the protection product need to be optimized for each of the network or user environment. That is a very important core competence and differences between Trend Micro and only provide the visibility because we have both the protection optimized for different environment and across the board, 
sensors for all the total visibility. So Trend Micro's XDR solution is the best and recognized by industry analysts. Trend Micro is the leader in endpoint protection, email security, cloud workload security, and, and detection and response. All of this position, I think most importantly, is it come to one mission that we can achieve with all of this layer protection and detection sensor that is in the monitor attack framework. I think what you need is you need to have high detection and very low noise. In this test, I think we are very proud that Trend Micro achieved this type of high detection and very low noise for our customer, which is the most important value proposition we believe for the security operation center. Of course, this threat defense platform is an expandable platform and we will continue to enhance it. What's next? What's coming soon? Trend Micro XDR is the extensive detection and response, but not only that, we will rename that to Vision 1. Vision 1 means that not only you can do detection and response, you can have more visibility into security posture and control of all these important assets including the identity, including the IoT security, all of this. And we will have our integration with no matter SIM or SAW or other third-party infrastructure, like a fabric. We weaving into this cybersecurity fabric and provide the best XDR, or we provide, most importantly, we are, as a cybersecurity company, we are one team, one vision. In this era of digital transformation, we want to enable our customer to be resilient. With Trend Micro's passionate people, good-hearted employee, and our responsibility to make sure everyone can enjoy the secure and safer and better world together. Thank you so much, Eva. It's always great to hear your succinct overview of our vision and strategy.